So now let's take a look at crypto. The bulls have been coming back with a vengeance in crypto recently, but there's still a lot of weak cryptos out there. I mean, take a look at Dogecoin. This doesn't look like a strong move at all. I don't see a lot of strength on the side of the bulls over here. So Dogecoin bulls are going to want to see a higher low and then a higher high to see some continuation here. But I look at, at this chart and it doesn't look pretty. It looks like a big bearish head and shoulders to me. And take a look. And this is a stock. It had this similar kind of pattern up here almost looks identical okay look at that and look at the what happened after now it's coming back up but you know it wasn't nice for months after and dogecoin is looking very similar to scr i don't like dogecoin's chart i'm bearish on dogecoin based on the chart it looks like one of the weaker cryptos over here xrp not looking too good it had this this wedge uh a little while ago and you know I, I had my eyes on this and I, I was thinking there would be a bullish break but it was a bearish break and it just hasn't really done much since then uh it's trying to hold this area as a support but as of now not looking too strong potentially a little bearish head and shoulders on the daily the bulls got a little bit of a double bottom they're going to need to pass around 93 cents to get that higher high over here and potentially see some continuation to the upside but right now just looking at the chart overall the bears are still in control look on the weekly bulls are trying to get that higher low on the weekly they're going to need follow through past that resistance around 93 cents initially and then the next resistance is around 97 and a half cents if bulls really want to see continuation to the upside but as of now this chart does not look very strong on xrp I was thinking it was a potential monthly bull flag before, but I think that was negated with the big drop that happened in the last month. Cake. Monthly chart. Not too much to look at there. Double bottomed off of the all-time lows. Bulls are trying to get a little bull flag here, similar to Ethereum right here. Looks like a little bit of a bull flag on the weekly. That's something you're going to want to keep your eyes on as a bull on crypto. Does this bull flag break bullish or does it break bearish? And it's just very similar on Ethereum and Cake. I think you're really going to want to keep your eyes on what Ethereum does and what Bitcoin does. But it does seem like correlations are breaking up a little bit because now you're seeing the bigger names or at least Bitcoin looking a lot more bullish than the rest of them. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of coins out there that just don't have much substance to them. And obviously, Bitcoin has more substance. It's more well-known. It's been around longer. It's more heavily used. A lot of people accept that they use it in third world countries. So, you know, if cryptos do survive, you know, it would seem that it would be Bitcoin and Ethereum and the big names. And a lot of the smaller ones probably won't do as well over the long term. But who knows for sure? I don't like Bitcoin's technology. I've explained in another video why I think Bitcoin is eventually going to zero. But who knows if that will happen for sure. In the meantime, I just trade based off of the charts. And right now, the charts, and I posted on my Instagram the other day, said, be cautious, bears. As a bear, be cautious. As I am a Bitcoin bear, but I will play the trade both ways. I'll take bullish positions. I'll take bearish positions. I wouldn't invest for the long term because i'm a bear and i i don't I, I just don't believe in bitcoin but for the short term i would take bullish trades based on the chart and what i saw was we had that double bottom obviously on the weekly and then we had kind of a bull flag a fake out to the downside the bulls held the low of that day and then it just took off over here now the bulls are trying to move up to test the 200-day moving average, which is the purple line up here around $42,500, which is also a critical resistance area because that's the high of the bounce from the big dump. So that's what we're looking at as a potential next resistance area to look at. It's a little bit overextended above the red line, so I, be, I was looking for it to pull back a little bit today. Probably going to hold yesterday's candles low, which is 38730 I think it'll hold that. That candle, but I think it could pull back a little bit more to test that area as a potential support. 
uh, before deciding the next move. And that's what I'm looking for on Bitcoin. I think the overall chart still looks bearish to me. This potentially looks like a big bearish head and shoulders forming on the weekly. Okay, the big dump on the monthly. Um, bulls really are trying for this triple kind of bottom over here. Big consolidation. If bulls can really get a nice break above here, they can trap a lot of bears in the red and a lot of, get a lot of people getting FOMO again to get back in. But as of now, the overall trend is not very pretty. The short-term trend looks okay for the bulls, and I was saying that. But the overall trend, go back months, there's still a ton of money sitting in the red that I'm sure that a lot of people love to just cash out and break even and be done with it because it's not an easy ride riding these cryptos, moving up and down 5%, 10% a day. I don't think it's easy on people. It's probably a lot of really stressful. Crypto's really good for traders. For long-term investors, it can be really good, but it's not an easy ride. So keep an eye on that on crypto. Right now, not looking too bad. I am looking for a little bit of a pullback on Bitcoin today, but nothing significant before deciding the next move. Again, potential weekly bull flag on Ethereum, um, but no real clear, clear signs of that yet. It could just be forming a lower high, and then weeks ahead, it could go down and set a lower low and head to this yellow line down there, which would be a lot lower. I'm not saying that's going to happen. Just saying... If the bulls can't play this out as a bull flag, then the bears might take over and there could be a lot of downside. Bulls are really trying to hold this area. So right now, we've just got a big bounce. This is just an oversold bounce off of this support area. But bulls need to set a higher low and then a higher high to change the trend. That's what we're looking for. Pull back, set a higher low. And then push to set a higher high to effectively change the trend in the bull's favor. Right now, this just looks like an oversold bounce as it is. No clear change in the trend on Ethereum. Bitcoin had the low, high, higher, low, and higher high. So Bitcoin is definitely the stronger coin right now. But a Bitcoin appears to be heavily influenced and manipulated by Elon and Kathy Woods. And Kathy Woods apparently was buying around the low 30,000 and Elon is hyping it up again. So, you know, I don't know if you can totally trust the chart when you have people manipulating these cryptos. Heavily manipulated, I would say, in my opinion. So I'm going to end that video here. Thanks for watching. And remember, like, subscribe, share, comment, and check out the course. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.